Happiness is one of the most valuable conditions of humanity. People all over the world are driven to overcome any and every obstacle to obtain it. This is The Pursuit of Happiness. In this episode, we seek to discover how the typical high school student finds happiness amid their increasingly stressful lives. The number one cause of stress among teenagers is that created by school. According to a CNN poll, 75% of teens admitted to engaging in serious cheating. For this large amount to resort to such behavior, it is simple to see how much pressure is placed upon students. In addition to stress, depression is not uncommon among teenagers. One in five teenagers currently qualify as clinically depressed, but most will ignore the symptoms and struggle through the mental disorder alone. Yes, there is a lot of stress put on us as students. I almost feel as if one out of five is too small of a number because if you can honestly say that you haven't gone through anything in your life and it hasn't affected you, then that's amazing because everyone has their battles, everyone is struggling in some way, shape, or form. With statistics like these, it's a wonder how most imagine teenagers as at the peak of their lives. To find out how students find happiness, we decided to explore the lives of four students at Troy High School, a nationally renowned school that has a reputation among students for inducing stress due to its high rigor. Hi, I'm Joshua Liu. I'm in 11th grade and I'm 16 years old. I started playing basketball in the summer going into 6th grade. Playing basketball it makes me very happy because while I get to interact with other people, I also get to do what I love. When I play, I'm either a shooting guard or a small forward. I hope to get into UCSD for the engineering program and as well as play basketball for them if I can. My name is Adrija Chakravorty. I'm a 12th grader and I'm 18 years old. I sing. I have been since I was three, so that definitely is one of the reasons that I'm so happy. I feel like music is a place where I can channel my emotions. Um, I also volunteer um, with a few clubs on campus. And also, I'm part of the school newspaper, The Oracle. And I think that's a, like a really like safe environment for me to talk about my feelings. I just feel like I have a place to communicate with others and share happiness. Career-wise, I want to be self-sufficient and be able to make my own future, my own living, and not have to rely on anybody. And I think that's also a feeling of contentment and that like kind of stems from the idea of being happy because you're happy when you are able to do things for yourself. And I think that's important for me. Um, my name is Rowena Luminarius. I am in ninth grade and I'm 15. Something interesting about me is I'm really passionate about art and it, it has a huge influence on my life. I like to stay in the realistic field. I think she's so talented. I think my favorite picture of hers is her Eeyore. I feel like I can really express myself through my art. I would say that it's very original and empowering. When I was applying for high schools, I applied for a high school known as Orange County School of the Arts. Um, when I auditioned for OSHA, I actually made it in, but my parents kept telling me it wasn't practical and art won't really get me anywhere in the future. I think if she went to OSHA, she would have been <laughs> more creative, but I feel like because she couldn't, she still has the drive to keep making art now. So when I came here to Troy, I still tried to utilize my resources by dropping my Spanish class to take art because art is something I know that I'm good at. I'm planning to pursue art in college. I want to be someone who influences other people. I want to be someone who can inspire people, but to be there, I need to do the best I can at what I do. Uh, my name is Kevin Jung. I'm a sophomore and I'm 16 years old. I played basketball for five years. I'm not actually in, in the team, so I'm gonna join next year. I played piano for like eight, eight years, and uh, I played French horn in Troy for much more than.
I, I joined the summer camp for marching band. I, I thought it's really funny and I love the people here. They are really uh, outgoing and they help me a lot. So my biggest problem is uh, language. I'm not from this country. So I came to this country uh, last year. I'm from China. Uh, I don't like China's uh, education because it's really hard. We only have six class, English, Chinese, uh, chemistry, physics, math, and PE. But in America, we have a lot of class like you can choose a class you like. So that's very interesting. Because we have like so many activities in America, but China, we don't have any activities. So that makes me like more confident. It's clear they each have something that brings them joy and contentment. But beyond that, what else drives students? We took it upon ourselves to explore what others find happiness in. Cooking makes me happy. Working with students all day long. Being surrounded by Things that are positive. Don't think about math. Netflix. Being with my family and golfing. Playing music makes me happy. Other people's happiness makes me happy. Friends, family, my students, my career. I love to be at the beach. Um, cute things. I read books. Succeeding. When I get home, I have my one-year-old puppy, Rocky Balboa. I like getting good grades. Spending time with friends. And oh yeah, being legendary. <laughs> Probably sports. I love track and field. Little small things in life. Creating things that are actually useful, that sort of thing. But that leads us to the question: Is there a universal definition of happiness? Happiness is kind of based off what you enjoy doing. But it, I don't think it's the same for everybody. Happiness, like in my life, um, usually stems from when I'm around my friends. I feel like. They really support me and they encourage me. Having all that love around me is like what happiness feels like to me. So happiness, I think, is just really up to the person. I think the universal definition, if any definition at all, it's a feeling that you get when you're just really content with the way your life is, or if not the way your life is, but just the situation at that moment. You can have like an unhappy life, but still have happy moments. People can give you happiness, um, like beauty around you can give you happiness. There's just an infinite number of options. When you're happy, you are able to feel comfortable in whatever environment you're in and I don't know, you're just enjoying yourself in whatever you do. Not being sad. Um, happiness is when you feel, you feel good, like you feel nice. Um, like when I'm smiling and laughing. I guess having your loved ones around you and knowing what you're going to do in the future, that's happiness to me. Not having stress. Being able to enjoy life and see the good things instead of the bad things. Just being content with myself and... Wait, I have to think about that's a hard question. <laughs> being stable emotionally, I guess. Not being sad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Having things that you like around you. Having supporting friends and not being alone. Happiness would probably be like how successful I consider myself to be. Elevated enthusiasm, just overall good feelings. I think happiness is being content with where you are and your decisions. Happiness is a process. We've been learning a lot about what it means to be happy. Now, three weeks later, we have decided to reinvite our interviewees for a reevaluation of their happiness. I am more aware of the things that make me happy. After I had this interview, I um, am more aware of the things that I'm doing. Like, I observe the things that I'm doing that are making me feel happy. I learned um, I, I should work hard and be happy like the things I have. I feel, uh, I feel more confident. I think my perception of happiness has been more defined now that I'm thinking about it more thoroughly. I would say I am more happy because I've accepted what makes me happy. My advice to others is um, your, your own meaning to, to the world is to change the world. Everyone has their like, own, own job. You should do the things you like. Don't be afraid and don't give up. Just run for your goals. Try hard freshman year and don't stop until senior year. Just looking at things with a brighter perspective, being more optimistic is always helpful. Breathe, enjoy. Try to have a little fun in high school, and not too much. And of course, get enough sleep. 
Try to laugh a little bit each day, and if you're stressed out, just chunk it down. Take it one tiny step at a time. Make it fun. All I can really say is that your future is going to be okay. Like, failing one test isn't going to determine exactly what happens to you. You're going to be fine. With so much pressure to be successful, high school students are undoubtedly among the most stressful human beings. However, while there are so many things that do cause unhappiness, realize that there are more things to be happy for. Sure, the homework and exams are tedious, but never take for granted your access to education. In those hard times, look beyond the negativities and acknowledge something that makes you happy. From volunteering, to sports, to art, or even your friends and family, there are so many meaningful blessings. Never take your happiness for granted. Whatever your calling is, the pursuit of happiness is ready for you. Now that you've journeyed with us on an adventure to define happiness, we leave you with one question. Are you happy?